I admit that I should be an expert, and I think I am. But the truth is, together, we have so much more knowledge. So I'd love to get your thoughts and, and feelings as you're going through the conversation with us tonight. So we're going to talk about networking and how do we do that. And I've kind of broken it down into about 12 or 13 simple steps that will get us where we want to be. But the first thing is, I'm going to ask you all this question. Oh, by the way, I'll do it a couple of times, but I just popped my contact information into the chat. So first question for you all. How do you define networking? And you can either throw you know, a quick answer into the chat or you can just unmute yourself and give us your answer. How do you define networking? Well, Paul, why don't I just uh, throw in a comment? Uh, sure. I think networking to me is uh, finding opportunities to get in front of people, in front of organizations, and share what you do well and what you're passionate about, as well as learning about their passions. I think the important part of net, about networking is seeking information as well as sharing. So finding creative ways of doing that in a way that's comfortable for you. Beautiful. It's great. Daryl, I love sharing your information with others. Expanding your brand. That's an interesting perspective, uh, Gaddafi. Thank you. Gina, anywhere, anytime. And yes, I agree with you. Networking should be done anywhere, anytime. And I probably should wait to say this till some other time in the presentation because I'm sure it'll come up then but I don't leave my house in my Saturday yard working clothes when I need to go to Home Depot and, and buy something that's missing for the project I go inside and I change into something halfway decent and presentable before I go because you just don't know where you're going to meet your next boss and I want to make sure I'm presentable. So um, I agree. Absolutely. Anytime, anywhere. Absolutely right. Well, here's how I define networking. Um, it's really about building relationships. You know, that, that's really in it, at its core. We're networking anytime we're creating a relationship with another person. And it's in that relationship that we then want to work with each other, help each other, do things to make each other's lives different and better. And that's where job seeking comes in. So I would recommend and suggest, just as you said, Gina, that we need to be networking all the time. We need to be at networking everywhere. And we never know when that next opportunity is going to show its face. One of my, uh, best friends is a career coach here in New Jersey. You may know him, uh, Marty Lapman, and he says, always be connecting. That's for him. Networking is always be connecting. But the truth is the online connection, that first conversation is just that, a connection. Networking doesn't occur until we go to that second and that third and maybe the fourth conversation and we start to really get to know each other and work with each other. So we have to make sure that when we're networking, we're doing those kinds of things. 